your landlord. You haven't returned my weed whacker. If anybody remembers that cartoon from Cartoon Network, like, way back in the 90s, it was part of the cartoon cartoon lineup, but that line always made me laugh. Being a Star Wars fan and stuff like that, I always liked that. As a matter of fact, it was done by Seth MacFarlane, you know, dude makes Family Guy and shit like that. It was kind of neat, because if you watch that, it's kind of like a predecessor to Family Guy. Dude talks just like Peter is a complete fucking idiot, and the dog in it talks just like Brian and stuff. Ah, oh, yeah. Gotta miss the 90s cartoons. Anyway, howdy do there, nerds and nerdettes. It is I, Alpha Mega Sin, being handsome as ever with these delicate features. So, I want to go in and talk about Xbox 360. I want to talk about Star Wars. I want to talk about gaming. So, I'm going to wrap this all up into one gigantic fruit roll-up of a video. And, bickety-bam, unbox this bad boy right here. It's limited edition Xbox 360 Slim, obviously designed to look like that bitch and little droid right there, which you know R2-D2 is essentially swearing. They bleep out everything that he's ever said, so obviously he's got the dirtiest and most foul mouth you've ever heard across the galaxy, all galaxies, including the ones that are very, very far away. And C-3PO, his little buddy that's right there and waving to you, you see him? He's all like, hey, what's up? So turn that around. So, as you see, the system, the connect, the gold controller, which makes me think of the Nintendo 64 controllers when they were all gold. Ah, oh, yes. I love that kind of stuff. But anyhow, I want to go and unbox this. I have to go and basically thank my one friend Sean for this, because he knew I was in the market to get an Xbox 360, but I wanted one in specific. Namely this one, but whenever it came out, I didn't have the loot to be able to go and pick it up. So I was able to finally go and obtain one, and basically now I'm happy as can be as a pig in shit because I'm able to go and play things like Condemned and Dead Rising and Lost Odyssey and Tales of Vesperia and a bunch of other Xbox 360 games that I fucking love to death. I haven't been able to play because my Xbox 360 arcade bit the dust quite a while ago. It was like, I'm gonna red ring, and I was like, counterspell, you're gonna fix yourself, and it was like, no, I'm actually going to red ring again, so fuck you. So, yeah, it did, but I was able to go and basically trade it for a bunch of Pokemon games, because the person didn't care that it was fucked up. So, yeah, win-win, I guess? I, I have no clue. I got a bunch of Pokemon games out of it, and now I have myself a slim Xbox 360 with a big beefy hard drive, much better than the 20 gigabyte or whatever I had in my other one. So anyway, let's go and unbox this motherfucker, because I'm sick of sitting down here and not unboxing it, and just having it sit on my lap, as if it's going to tell me what it wants for Christmas or something some shit. Anyway, so let's transition now. Okie dokie, Sariyoki. So let's go have a look at the overall packaging box, whatever the fuck, before we go and crack this sucker open. To begin with, number one, you already got to see Xbox 360, Connect, Star Wars, C-3PO, pretty much just saying he's about to go and put the smackdown on a bitch, or he's talking about the five finger discount, whichever it is, and hanging out with the most foul mouth across the entire galaxy, R2-D2. I wish I could do a impression of him, but that would be impossible. So, on this side, it tells you exactly what's inside. Contents! The system! Well, that would be extremely handy. The Kinect sensor! Unlike the ones that we've been fearing that are going to watch us when we masturbate and things like that. A gold Xbox 360 controller, which is going to pretty much be a magnet for anything and everything having to do with fingerprints, smudges, and, well, just frankly, it, it's going to be a fucking mess. The 320 gigabyte hard drive, which is pretty damn handy, because, again, I was dealing with 20. That's what I had before. 20. So, I upgraded. 300 more gigabytes. Huzzah. A headset. A copy of Connect Star Wars, which I personally have not played, but I heard that it's not all that great of a game. So, yeah, there's only been one uh, Kinect game that I've even given a shit about whatsoever, and that was Rise of Nightmares, even though I heard that one is pretty much a miserable pile of shit, but it's one of those miserable pile of shits you may actually be kind of fond of. And Connect Adventures, because if you want to go on an adventure, well, there you go. You can do it with your Connect. I don't have any plans on doing that, though. And it has Netflix, Hulu+, Plus, ESPN, which I could give a fuck about, and Facebook, which I have on pretty much every other device, so I don't really need it. So, Netflix will probably be the only thing I kind of use. Now, there goes the cover of it, as you already got to see, because I was holding it up. So, yeah, that's not all that exciting. 
and C-3PO and R2-D2 pretty much striking some kind of bitchin' ass pose with the Xbox 360 and pretty much just being pimp-ass motherfuckers in the galaxy, though this shit needs some serious Han Solo up in that bitch. I don't give a fuck if Harrison Ford is old. He's Han Solo. That's just fucking awesome. So, anyway, one of the things that we ought to go and do now is open this fucker up. Now, shall we? Bam! Open Sesame. Let's go and get this out of the way. So, connect Star Wars, wherever the fuck. It's going to be some paperwork. So, we're going to go and set that off to the side. Right there. Ah, the console. This is exactly what I want to go and see. Let's go and get that out. Along with all the other crap that is basically attached to it. We are going to... Set this off to the side. That's right, we're gonna dig right in to the main cores. These little goofy fucking feet off of there. There we go. Uh, that makes me happy beyond comprehension. So, as you can see, it is painted up really, really, really fucking nice. Take a good look at the front there. That's just, it's beautiful. It really is. See inside there. Very nice stuff. Do not move console with disc in tray. And then it says in a whole bunch of other languages. So we got some vents up top. And on the back, obviously, all the connections. That is pretty goddamn spiffy, if I do say so myself. So, up oh, and right there. So, let's go and set that right there. Matter of fact, we want this to look real badass. So, it can sit just like that. Now, what else do we have inside of this box? Well, I could get official Xbox magazine. So, don't miss that. Save big. The Halo issue. All about Halo Reach. And Xbox Avatar pretty much just being like, Hoo yeah! And it needs kicked right in the fucking nuts. Ah, uh, right in the beanbag. Duke Nukem Forever, what's hot in 2011, and it's talking about Halo 3. Well, I already have a bunch of sources for my news content, so fuck you. Anyway, wow, that actually landed perfectly on my other shelf. That's kind of impressive. Get your avatar the best insurance money can buy. Purchase Xbox 3 sir. <laughs> no, just fuck out of here. <laughs> Extended service plan. You're silly. So, got ourselves the controller. Headset. The Kinect, which I am having trouble getting out of the box. Come here. Come on. You can come out. You can do it. There we go. All these fucking wires getting stuck is a pain. There we go. And what else do we have in here? This is the power cord. This is the power brick. And we have ourselves the cables. All right. So cables. Get that shit the fuck out of the way. Alright, let's see what says on the power brick. Uh, do not let a baby go and play with that because then I'll start wearing it like a mask and screaming inside of it. Oh, alright. So basically just toss it into the trash. Yeah, alright. Well, I, I think that's something I can definitely get used to. So there we go. A power brick. If you know anything, it's obviously for this end. Right here. So somebody's just like, a power brick? What do you mean? You see this? You plug this? Into this. Look. It's like a fucking mating ritual. There you go. And then you can turn this bad boy on, which we are going to do, so you can hear the R2-D2 sounds. So, there we go. Got that the fuck out of the way. Let's have a look at the controller itself, because the controller, again, is pretty goddamn nifty, because it's all shiny and gold. Ah, yes. That is pretty damn cool. Looking, see reflections. Reflections! Oh, what's that over there? That's my TV, and see if I can reflect the camera. I think you can see the camera. It's kind of hard to tell now. Well, anyway, so there is the controller. 
much nicer D-pad than the one that I had had on my old 360 controller. Analog sticks, always nice. Triggers, Xbox 360 controller. Say what you want about the system, it's library and stuff like that, but the controller is absolutely fantastic. Really solid controller. Now, since this is designed to look like C-3PO, see it's all gold right there, and the exposed circuit wires and stuff like that going along there, which I thought that was a nice little touch. It was, it was cute. So yeah, I, I do like that, but it's a good controller. Will it be my main controller? I really don't know. I can go and uh, fix my beard while I'm doing this. That's kind of what I'm doing right now. But yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. That's where you put your AA batteries, which I have tons upon tons upon tons because most of my devices are going to require AA and AAA batteries, so I'm good on that front. A headset, and you want to know it? This is going to be fucking useless to me because I don't go online and play anything whatsoever. I am a goddamn gaming recluse. I'm like, I'm going to be offline playing single player, or I'm going to force somebody to come down to my, my house and play something with me on the couch. So, there we go. But it's a headset. If I do decide for any random fucking reason that I'm going to go online, then, you know, I got that. But I already have a headset, so this will just be the extra second player headset. I have no fucking clue. So anyway, the Kinect. Ah, uh, the Kinect. You have been in the midst of so many fucking allegations lately. It's like TMZ news. It's quite terrible for the poor Kinect. It's like, but I'm actually a really handy device if you see all the applications that people use for it outside of gaming. And everybody's like, yeah, but you just want to watch us masturbate. You're a fucking weirdo freak. So there's the Kinect. Let's go in and get this off there. This actually looks like a, <laughs> this looks like a neck brace, which makes me think of Tourette's guy. So, I'm going to take that off. Granted, it doesn't have a Tony and Tiger shirt, but what the fuck ever. Now, it just looks like a mouth guard, so I don't really need that. Star Wars mouth guard just get the fuck away from me. And again, that landed perfectly on a shelf. I don't know how I got two items to land perfectly on a shelf ever. That's fucking random. But, it's all white. It's very pretty looking, like the system is. So, it matches. And this will pretty much sit up on top of the TV if I do decide that I'm actually going to use it. But I do plan on getting Rise of Nightmares. So, yeah, now I can actually have some kind of use for it. Not a whole lot, but some kind of use. So if you want to see everything on it. Ooh, ah, so impressive. Ooh, I'm watching you. Big Brother mode, activate. <laughs> Unauthorized gamers trying to use game console, shutting down. Unless you give us money, then we are powering on. Power up, power up. Let's see. So this is stuff that I had before. Let's go and open this bad boy up and see what the fuck is inside. the fuck down. All right. A quick setup guide. Ah, all right. Oh, well, that, that is pretty darn quick. I mean, it's only four steps. So let's see. Step number one. I need at least six feet of space between the television and whoever is going to be playing. I'm assuming that's pretty much for the connect. Well, that's not going to do me a whole lot of good because I definitely don't have six feet of space. Uh, if you have a gigantic TV, you can go and set it up somewhere, and it's talking about the mouth guard for it. So, yeah, maybe I want to hold on to that mouth guard that I just got done tossing onto my shelf, which just landed by my Helsing manga. Let's see, over here it's telling you what kind of wires and stuff that you can go hook up in case you are mentally fucking deficient, then whatever. And this is talking about syncing the controller to your system, yada yada yada, blah blah blah. Oh, hey. And uh, number five and six. If you want to play Connect Adventures, then you too can stand in front of TV and wail and flail like a complete and utter fucking buffoon. And this right here is talking about connecting to the interwebs, which I will only do when I want to download Xbox Live Arcade games. Ah, Shadow Complex, you are on my to-do list. Again. Alright, so yeah, we got that, and do I need it? No, I don't, so get the fuck away from me. Ah, but, this is pretty damn cool. It's a poster, it's a poster, let's go and unfold this motherfucking poster. So, remember them striking a pose with the Xbox 360? Looking all GQ and shit. Well, there you go. Now I have a poster I can go and hang up of it. Am I going to? No, because frankly, I already have quite a few posters I still haven't hung up, which are way cooler. But this is a nice little extra for them to go and include. I wish more consoles would do stuff like that. I, I always like the Super Nintendo ones. that had all the games and stuff like that on there. So seriously, game companies, include more stuff like that in there. 
but there, that's everything pretty much unboxed. The system does, the like, the paint job on it looks really, really nice. This is something that I, I plan on having stood up the entire time, because when it's laying down, I don't know, it just doesn't... It doesn't feel right. You know what I mean? Like, looking at it, it's like, nah, you ought to you ought to stand up. It's like R2-D2 taking a nap and shit. And if he did, then, you know, like, being the little garbage can shape that he is, he might not be able to get back up. It's a poor little guy just rolling back and forth like a fucking turtle on his back and shit. But I do. I, I just think this looks really cool. The only other one that I thought looked nearly as nice is uh, the one Halo one, which has got, like, the translucent uh, case. I always thought that one looked extremely badass. But this one, because I'm a Star Wars fan, is something that I've really been wanting to get. So, yeah. Let's go and turn this motherfucker on so we can see what it looks like all lit up and hear the uh, custom sounds that are included on it, shall we? Transition number two, let's go! Alright, so now that we got it plugged in, would you like to hear what it sounds like whenever it's powering on? Of course you would. That's what you hear whenever you go and turn it off, which is extremely badass, and whenever you're going powering it down, same exact thing, but the fact is, I like that quite a bit. It makes me pretty damn happy, and it's just a nifty little extra to go and include something like this. So it's not just, you know, something that's cosmetic. It's internal, right? Absolutely. He also just used the word fuck shit and cunt. So, yeah, but he said it really fast. He's kind of like one of those free flow rappers or some shit, just saying a whole bunch of stuff. Isn't that right? Absolutely goddamn fucking lowly. So anyway, I hope... That all you Star Wars fan, Xbox 360 fans, gaming fans, and, uh, well, just pretty much anybody to decide to go and click on this, enjoy the living shit out of this video. If not, then, uh, yeah, I guess I can just go fuck myself then. But R2-D2 has something to say about that. You dirty mouth little whore. Anyway, so this is Alpha Omega Sin, as always. Nerds, nerdettes, droids, and gamers. Game the fuck on. Yeah, that's right. He said game the fuck on, too. You may not know it, but I speak his lingo. So, yeah, game the fuck on. Seriously, kick on. Do it. Now.